There they are. Everybody give it up for Hitchcock and Scully. Four, coming in. Oh, come on. I was in the crime scene. This guy comes up out of nowhere, confesses. Well, he says he's got to make things right, so he helps me track down his accomplices. That is so great, man. Looks like everything's coming up Hitchcock. Two, the Canadian cops think that my dad used his security clearance to smuggle in over a 1,000 pills of Turgidol. Canadian erection medication, very potent. But I don't need it. But I love it. Yeah, boy. Diaz, I wanted to talk to you about our performance in yesterday's bomb defusing course. We know, sir. You won. No, the three of us all failed. Apparently, our instructor felt we didn't take it seriously enough. But Hitchcock and Scully passed. What? How did they defuse bombs better than we did? Those were bombs? Unbelievable. We can keep it in my office until it's time to leave. What do you have in the pastry box, sir? Brownies? No, you hold brownies from the side. He's holding it from the bottom. True. Maybe it's a cheesecake. But there's no condensation on the box. It's room temperature. Look at the finger spread, tensing in the shoulders. He's supporting something dense. It's, it's a, a pie. pie. It is a pie. Damn, that was impressive. So those threatening phone calls were being made to Tim Orsk, of Timo's limos. It's interesting. This Orsk guy's name keeps cropping up in this case. Because he's the victim. You know, he's the guy whose window was smashed with this rock. OK? He's being extorted for $10,000. Sure. But what do they want from him? $10,000. I just said that. We're trying to figure out who's doing the threatening. Wait, I have a theory. I think limousine and magazine come from the same word. Just focus! I'm sorry for snapping. I interviewed Orsk. Orsk, there it is again. Oh, you're useless. I was double checking last month's surveillance photos, and I noticed this. Hawkins has two different phones, her normal cell, and then this one that only has one app on the home screen, Snapchat. Oh, she's up to something. Snapchat messages disappear. You can send anything to anybody, and after they see it, it's like I never sent it. Nobody asked Hitchcock why he knows that. Could we put a mirroring app on her phone so we could watch everything she does? Well, those work great, but you have to physically have her phone to install it. Nobody asked Hitchcock why he knows that. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. Looks like a peanut. Bet it's a cashew. You're on. Oh, Hitchcock, thank God. Handcuffed yourself to a car. Been there. What? No, Charles did this. Here, quick, hand me those keys. There we go. What will you give me for them? Seriously, what do you want? A dollar for a soda. Mine are all wet. Yes, obviously I'll give you that. Bam! A soda only costs 75 cents, you fool. See you later, sucker. Didn't even give him the dollar. Hey, can I get your file on that Atlantic Avenue drug ring? Sarge gave me and Scully the case. What? Oh. Why did you do that? I, I know I deserved it, but why? Where is everyone, Gina? Perhaps that's tonight's first puzzle. I forgot to send the invitations, but I was able to rally the best and brightest of those available. Oh, dear God. Sorry, we're late. Turns out the front door is a push, not a pull. Does anyone here know any Slavic languages? Oh, I'm great at languages. Watch this. Hello, I am Hitchcock. Thank you for the cookie pizza idea. Squad, bullpen. Now, is everything OK, sir? No, it is not. I went to a meeting, and when I returned, my pie was gone. Which one of you took it? Calm down. There's no need to point fingers at us. It was clearly Hitchcock and Scully. How dare you? You have no proof. There's crumbs all over your desks. Well, these are pie crumbs. Bread, cookie, pizza, sandwich, blintz, and one good old-fashioned potato chip. No pie here. I just humiliated you. Oh, man, I already ate. I guess I'll just have a cheeseburger deluxe, a couple slices of pie, maybe an egg cream. OK. And a waffle. So look, a big, important drug case came across my desk, and I need your help. Only problem is Sarge doesn't think you can handle it. He's right. No, he's not. Look, you're Hitchcock and Scully. You guys are legends. You single-handedly caught the Prospect Park flasher. Well, he was being chased by other cops, but he did slip on my spilled chili. And who bumped into Scully causing the spill? Me. Damn right. And who fell asleep under their desks and caught the janitor stealing evidence? We did. And who sued the department and got triple ply toilet paper in every precinct? We did. Terry thinks you guys are too old and too lazy to handle this, but I know what you're really made of. You're going to take this case and prove him wrong. Yeah. We're still going to use lunch, right? 
What is this? It's a jack-o'-lantern. Don't touch it. Why not? Because you're hiding something in there? Because my daughter's made it and your palms are all black. What have you been touching? Huh. Well, this has got me stumped. Oh, no, no, I'm starting to panic sweat. Starting to? What have you been doing for the past hour? Normal sweating. Wait a minute. If you get killed, what happens to all your debt? Loophole! We gotta get to the hospital and we gotta get there fast. Then I should drive. Why you? I have nothing to live for and I drive like it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah! That's weird. There's a smudge on this sign right over the H. There's a smudge on this H too. Oh my God, why would you touch a hospital thing and then put it in your mouth? It's chocolate. Great instincts, never doubt yourself. Something's going on with this heist. You tell us everything you know and we'll tell you everything we know. I'd rather not. <laughs> Joke's on you. We don't know anything. Well, good day, then. Wait, why are you sweating? I'm not sweating. Oh, I've had enough heart attacks to know what sweating looks like. And that's sweat. Well, if I'm sweating, as you claim, it's because I was watching an exciting video on the net. Oh, really? What? It was a video of an American gymnast. His leotard ripped, exposing his butt. Highly erotic. You're lying. IT just installed blocker software. Thanks to moi. Uh, yes, but they didn't install it on my computer because I'm a captain. You don't look hot and bothered at all to me. Show us the erotica. Gentlemen, I assure you, there's nothing to see. Hey, Boyle, guess who got the Timo's limos perp? <sighs> Jake. Is Jake back? Oh, we did. Scully and Hitchcock. Signed confession. You called us useless. You called us incompetent. You called us zeros in the sack. Never happened. Well, someone said it to me last night. No, oh, uh, must have been my wife. How did you solve the case? We listened to those voicemails again and noticed the sound of parrots in the background. Got a list of employees, did door duty, asking neighbors if any of them kept pet birds. We finally found one who did, and guess what? The landscaping in front of his building was covered with these. Same type of rock that was thrown through the window. I can't believe it. What, you don't think it can break one? Watch. I meant I can't believe you solved the case. Well, you're wrong on that, too. Amy's not in the break room. Or the evidence room. Or the ladies' bathroom. You know what? I'll check again. I've never seen him walk with such purpose. Be careful. Don't let her see us. Then you should have got a disguise like me, idiots. Why do you even own that? I was banned from wing slots for using too much sauce. So I got it to sneak past the hostess. So far, it has not worked. How does one man chew so loud with just one mouth? Sorry. Could you stop kicking at things for one minute, Hitchcock? The TV's being a dick. You got to turn it like four times just to change the damn channel. Four times? Try turning it to 22, 18, 81, 17. The coordinates for the Bay of Pigs. And the military building. Nice job. You broke the TV. Hitchcock. You once told me you could roll that chair anywhere. Think you could take it up those stairs? I once rolled a chair home in a blizzard. So yeah, I can go upstairs. So do it. Oh, he's amazing. He's like a big, lazy Michelle Kwan. But how's he gonna get up the stairs? Jake, he already did. <sighs> Not about me wanting a record. It's about who currently has it. Hitchcock. Hitchcock! How is that possible? He's been here 20 years longer than me. And New York City in the 80s was basically the purge. I always knew I was the best cop in the 99, and now there's proof. Oh, man, my Paschetti. Hitchcock, you have any surveillance equipment Rosa can borrow? You mean my creep kit. No problem. Got another one in the car. See, Amy? That's what a real friend looks like. Check it out. Hitchcock got a tattoo. Mr. 99. Why are you putting a gun in your mouth? I'm blowing smoke off the barrel. It's cool. The barrel is fully inside your mouth. You're clearly about to kill yourself. You're just jealous, because he's got the arrest record and you don't. Yeah. Suck on this. Click. Pow. You pulled the trigger, man. That was a suicide. Now I need to use your skills to find my pie. It's about time you came to us. Here's what we need from you, a list of the pie's ingredients. We're looking for anything that might linger on someone's breath. We need surveillance footage from the water fountain. The crumb consistency was dry. Whoever ate it's going to be thirsty. Now, what kind of crimped edge are we dealing with here? U shaped or V? I don't know. Well, then get on the damned phone and find out. Sergeant, 
Hitchcock and I just uncovered something huge. You solved a crime? What? That's insane. No, it's about our nap room. Guess how long Gina's been pumping for? I don't know. The last know. hour. Now, everyone knows Gina's using a Nodella Harmony breast pump with two-phase expression technology for faster milk expression. You shouldn't know so much about breast pumps, Hitchcock. Well, you should know more about what's going on in your precinct. Given the Nodella's exceptional flow, there's no way she needs to be pumping more than 20 minutes a side. Wow, you didn't even say breast. Yeah, because I'm not a child. I need my afternoon nap. I am so sick of this city. I go into a coffee shop, and as soon as everybody sees that I'm a cop, they stop talking and they avoid eye contact with me. One lady even walked out. I am just so tired of being treated like the enemy. Hey, Hitchcock, your penis is hanging out. Oh. Well, that's a relief. No chocolate smudges in this entire parking garage. Four on floors one through five. We've officially lost the trail. Unless. No, that's not chocolate. What is that? But don't eat it again. We're getting a text. OK, we're making progress on your phone. We went to the bar where it was taken. Wait, why are you in handcuffs? Because I've been arrested. What? By who? Hitchcock, baby. I busted his butt for filing a false police report. He broke his phone, but insurance wouldn't reimburse him unless he reported it as stolen. Are you serious? How the hell did you solve this, Hitchcock? Good old-fashioned detective work. Yeah, they have no idea. <laughs> they think the phone was actually stolen. You're under arrest, jerko. Don't even think about it. We thought the bathroom was empty because we used the toilet with our feet up on the stall door. Explain any further and I will kneecap you both. You can't boss me around. I'm the greatest detective in the history of here. Mr. Nine-Nine, out. So, two keys, huh? That's a lot of snow. Yeah, if you can't handle it, we're happy to find someone who can't. Don't worry about me, friend. I can handle it. Marissa, baby. Go get our guests something to drink, would you? We don't want to drink. What is this, a social call? It's not a tea party. You look like five-year-old girls to you. Gentlemen, please, have some patience. Two keys, pure as a Catholic schoolgirl. Did you bring the cash? Oh, we brought something much better than cash. What's that? Our guns. NYPD, you're under arrest! <laughs> <laughs> Boss man's gone. Where'd he go? Thank you, kind little lady. Gio Costa, you're under arrest. You want that drink now, Hitchcock? Don't mind if I do, Scully. Don't mind if I do. Why is little one so mad? He's going through something. Now stand up, wet wipe your hands, and put them behind your back so we can cuff you. Well, thank God. I'm so tired of running. It's only been an hour. Stop! They didn't do anything wrong. Excuse me, ma'am. This is police business. I know. I'm Donna, the manager here. But my real name is Marissa Costa. I'm Gio Costa's wife, and I'm the reason they're here. You were the informant. Yeah, I was. Marissa's the only reason we got Costa. But our captain screwed her over. He wouldn't put her in witness protection. So you did take the cash. You just didn't keep it. You gave it to her. We'd come down here and check on her periodically. Yeah, we never spoke. But if she put an extra wing in our slug bucket, it meant everything was OK. Wait, so I was right. Hitchcock and Scully are good people. You bet your nips we are, skid mark. Just follow my lead. No, we got you into this mess. We'll get you out of it. Follow our lead. There are armed men out there. We don't even have our bulletproof vests. We can use the slut sauce. That's insane. It's not even solid. The bullets will go right through it. If you don't think the slut sauce is solid, then you might want to talk to my rock-hard arteries. We're doing this, and that's final. Scully, it's time to sauce up. <laughs> It hit the tub, but the bullet didn't make it through. The slut sauce, it saved you. You bet your nips it did, skid mark. Oh, I gotta say, you guys are good cops. Yeah, no doy. How do you think we got to be the oldest guys here? By never being promoted and losing all your money to divorces. And bad investments. Anyway, I'm sorry for calling you useless. I'm gonna make sure everyone knows you did good. Boy, please don't. Don't. The last thing we need is to suddenly be on everyone's A-list. The ones to watch, the golden boys, a pair of red-hot dicks. No one calls detectives that anymore. People call detectives that? Huh? All that investigating was exhausting. Besides, we did our share of that in the 70s and 80s. Now, we like to do paperwork in our comfy chairs. If we're away from our desks for too long, they'll update our computers and we'll lose Minesweeper. So please, don't tell anyone about the amazing work we did today. I never said amazing. Kind of just did your jobs. There you go. No, really. I mean, you also broke a window. Now you get it. <laughs>